G'day everyone, I'm Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing, welcome back to the uh, the channel. Today we're going to do another knot, the uni knot. It's the beginner's knot, it's the knot that I learnt when I was four and I'm still using it today for probably 99% of all the knots I tie, I tie the uni knot. So it is well worth learning. Before we get started, if you get something out of this video, hit that like button. It really helps me if you subscribe to the channel and let's get on with the knot. Two tag ends, so this is your main line, this is your leader. Two tag ends, just cross them over. Simple cross, just like that. Once you've got them crossed over your finger, crimp it with your thumb and do a loop on one side. Now it doesn't matter which side you start with. Um, once you've done that loop, it's a matter of pulling the, the main line with that loop and holding them together. And while they're together, you twist this line. Now different weight lines will be different number of twists. Uh, lighter line, more twists. Lighter braid, even more twists. Because we're using quite a fat line here, I'll just go four times for the purpose of showing. Once you've done that, pull it together. And I always try and keep it in these fingers until the majority of the knot's done up. And you see the knot come together. Now as that's coming up, before it comes up to this stage, you do lubricate. So once it's done up, turn it around and do exactly the same thing. Pinch it, take your tag end, do a loop. Take your, this will be your leader now. So your leader and your, your um, um, loop, put them together and then do four times with this nice thick stuff. And once it's together, see how I keep it between my finger, finger and my thumb until the knot's pulled up two thirds of the way, and then watch it come together. At this point, you'd lubricate, pull it together, and then you've got the two knots, one at either side, that pull together very nicely. Now lubricate in the middle, pull them together a little bit of tension on this line a little bit of tension on this line and there you have the perfect knot to join a leader to a main line So, 15 pound main line. We'll get some fluorocarbon leader. So this is your bit of leader that you want to join to your main line. Take about a foot of tag on both. Cross them over. I always do it with my dominant hand, so make a loop. Cross them over. Pull with the center finger. There's your loop and your main line together and then the tag in with 10 pound leader and 15 pound main line I do with the mono about six turns pull it together you'll see it come up lubricate just pull it so that it comes up a little then turn it around to the other side there's your tag in from your main line, do the loop. Now, with braid I do a few extra wraps. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then do exactly the same thing and pull your tag end. I'm doing it without my glasses here, I'm doing it by feel, you can see it come together there. Pull it up until it forms that knot. 
lubricate. Turn it back around so you've got your leader and your main line. Lubricate in the middle. And then pull them together. Once they're together, the tag for your leader up. This is the mono side, through a carbon side, and the braid, and then pull them together nicely. Bit easy to see the knot when you can see the tag ends flapping about. So that's the knot. Now I'll take the tag ends off and show you how thin that knot is. So I can, you can see the knot there, quite a small knot, and seriously the uni to uni will do 99% of all the jobs you need. Before you tie your swivel you put your sinker on. So you've got your main line, this goes back to your reel. You want the sinker on and then tie it to the swivel. Sinker. And tie it to the swivel with the uni knot. Seriously, this knot is sensational and it can be used with everything. Good tag end. I pull it out 90 degrees with my finger. Do the loop. Then you've got the main line and the loop together. Then one, two, three, four, five or six turns. And those six. Pull it up and it comes together very easily. Lubricate, lubricate to the swivel and pull down. And then, so yeah, sinkers above your swivel, you've got the uni knot, uni knot that joins the top part of your swivel, the bottom part of the swivel is also a uni knot and that'll come down to the hook. This is a number three beak hook. I'm using a number three beak hook because it's a little bit bigger than what I'd normally use for brim or whiting, but you should be able to see it. So take it through, again, 25-30 centimetres of tag end, bring it out 90 degrees to your finger, do a loop, pull them together, and then tie. One, two, three, four, five, six, pull it up, lubricate, down to your hook. So that there is a trace that's complete, sink it down to swivel, trace down to hook, all tied with the uni knot. Now another thing that you might want to do is if you're using a float, say you're fishing for black brim or fishing for normal brim for that matter, and floating stuff out, you might want to tie a stopper knot for your float. So how do you tie it? Take a length of line, there's your main line, you'll have the float down here somewhere. So take your main line, grab the end of your tag end, the bit that you're going to tie the knot, cut about 35 centimetres off, so a few centimetres for the other side of your finger, and do exactly the same thing as if you're joining two lines together. So. Take it around, create the circle, do the loop, depending on the thickness of your line, pull it together, create the stopper knot, cut the tag end, now don't pull it overly tight, cut the tag end off both sides and then you can slide that knot up and down your main line. Now leave a about a millimetre on each end of your tag end. Now that knot there is on your main line and could be slid down your main line, up your main line, wherever you want it. And when the float hits it, it'll stop. So there's your, your stopper knot using the standard old uni knot. Hopefully You'll agree that the uni knot is a very versatile knot. It's probably the only knot you'll ever need 
in normal everyday fishing. If you got something out of this, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.